Hi everybody, it's Sam here from Made to Surprise. Thank you for watching today. I'm going to be showing you how to put together the 5x7 Perfect Pop-Ups die set along with the Perky Pooches stamp set. So this is the 5x7 card blank. You'll see we've got that gorgeous little puppy playing in the grass and then you pull the tab and up pops his friend. It's porty time. <laughs> I love it. It makes me smile every time so let me show you how to make it. So this is the die set. So this is the new Everyday Pop-Ups collection. So you get the 6x6 and the 5x7 in this set. So you can create all, you know, those two different sizes. I've also then used the new Perky Pooches, which you'll see that adorable image here of the puppy, along with the coordinating dies, which will cut all of the, or a lot of the elements out. Also two other cards, I just, well, three other cards I want to show you. So I'm going to be showing you this just basic version but if you would like to see how to put together the kennel, which also comes in the set, you can see it's this one here and the, the two triangular pieces there, then just head over to my Mixed Up Craft YouTube channel and you'll see that video, but that's how it looks with the kennel. And then the puppy pops up and I've got another version here with a different, just different tones really of the blues and the green and the grass. So you can see how that pops up. So just take the kennel away and that gives you this style, which is what I'm gonna show you today. I also put together this more simple card using some of the new papers from the paper pad. And that one there says, sorry to hear you are feeling rough. I think it's very, very cute, but just another way to show you how to use the stamps and the papers in this new collection. So I've gone ahead and cut a few things here. Now the bunting is from my own stash, it's optional. So I've got those pieces there. But I also thought it'd be quite nice to just see if these are going to work. And those are the party hats from my party pop-ups from Christmas. So I know quite a lot of you have them. And they we made them so that they would work with lots of the different animals that we are bringing out. So um, I just thought it'd be quite nice to maybe play around, see how they work with this one. So I've already die cut using the 5x7 and you'll see your tab is the same, pretty much the same height so it's easy to know that this one goes with this one and then the 6x6 is shorter so you'll know it'll go with that. But I've die cut the blue and then I've die cut two of the tab. I like it, I like to do two, just it makes it nice and strong and easier to work with. So get all that ready and then with your pull tab you're going to go in from the front, you're going to slide it down and then you're going to come out like so and just push it down okay i'll leave that to one side for the minute i've then gone and die cut the grass so it's a nice big die here okay and then what i've also gone ahead and done is just cut the top part of the grass and then just trimmed it off and i'm going to have that along the bottom here okay now you could if you wanted to you could stamp all the way over like i've done on this one here because the stamp is a coordinating stamp and in fact, I've got it here from another project. So there's the, how big the stamp is. And that will line up perfectly with the top. So all of those blades of grass, it matches with, okay? I'm not going to today. I'm just gonna do some inking with this one. So I do like to add a little bit of depth to the card. So I've just got a green ink here and a blending brush. And I'm just gonna go around and kiss all of the edges. Just to add a little bit of a darker, shade and it will just help once we add some foam to this that will give it the dimension as well but it does just pull everything together okay so now you can see the difference by adding just that little bit of ink around the edges it really does help that stand out next you want to grab whatever it is you're going to have popping out because so along the bottom here i like to just run a very thin bead of glue there you could use some thin red tape. The thinner the tape or the glue, the more of the image it's gonna pop out. So I'm then gonna lay a little puppy right over the top there, and that's all you need. So now you'll see when that comes up, it's gonna pop. With this piece here, I'm gonna grab my foam, and I'm just gonna run a strip down each side. Don't need to do anything with the bottom. Just line it up with the bottom of that blue piece but by putting it on that foam it just now gives the puppy that space to be able to pop up <laughs> it just looks so cute and don't worry if it's all a bit flimsy right now because we haven't attached it to the card blank and then with this piece again I'm going to add my foam just along the bottom so I can pop the little pooch behind and again I'm going to just add that one along the bottom 
and then we can stick it down onto the card blank. So you can use double sided tape for this, I just prefer using liquid glue. But just make sure when you use your glue, if it's liquid glue, that you don't go very close to the mechanism. So you can see there, I've done enough of these now, but I just leave that gap around that area and then just pinch it together like that so it's easy for you to hold and then you can just lay it down on your card blank and you'll get a nice even border like so and then you'll see he just pops out okay then it's just down to decorating everything else so I'm going to now have him just in behind the grass there but I am also going to pop him on some foam now I do have box envelopes over on my Mixed Up Craft YouTube channel so I've got 5x7 box envelopes if you do want to pop it in something with a bit more dimension just doesn't limit you then if you want to add those and things like that so I'm just going to feed that in there like so and then I've got it's porty time so that one can go let's pop it Maybe just coming out of behind his ear there, quite like that, like so. Pop toy there, let's have his bone. Bone can be coming out like the other one did, I kind of like that there. And then this one, again, I think I might have that just kind of laying on the floor there. And then this is the party hat. So I just thought he looked really quite cute with a party hat on. So those of you that have this set, it definitely works really well. Now, if you're gonna add it onto him, you need to be careful that it's not gonna show. Because if I put it right like that, if I go down with this, you can kind of see inside. You need to make sure, obviously there's nothing popping up. Let me just pop that down. I can just open this up a little bit so it might be better yeah I'm going to pop it on the side so I'm going to do it a bit like that but because of the grass there it may just about hide it there we go just get away with it so now I want to pull it up they've both got their party hats on and then I've just got the bunting here. I did cut the pink colour as well but I think I kind of like the orange. Let's have a little look. Mind you though the pink does match. No we'll stick with the pink actually. So again this is just from my own stash. I just thought it was quite nice to fill that space but you can also add some of the paw prints from the stamp set. And then that one there. And then lastly, I just cut another one of the pull tab, but this time I've cut it in white. And I'm just going to cut the end off there. And I've just taken the pull, which is from my from the Christmas set before, so I know many of you have that, and also from the makeup set, handbags and makeup. We found that a lot of people were adding their own thing there. You could put an arrow there. It's entirely up to you and then I'm just going to add a little bit of glue and just stick that one over the top and then you have the finished card and still not finished unless it's got glossy accents on so I'm just going to this is the Ranger glossy accents and I'm just going to cover the eyes just to give them some shine bring that up you can see when it catches the light there we go, see all that shine on the eyes and the tongue. So I'll just bring this one over again because it's all dry, you can see. There we go, much better. And again, pop that one up. I think adding the hats looks brilliant. So all of these supplies or the, the, or the link to my Mata Surprise collection will be shared below so you can go over and check it out. But these are the party props. I do think they just bring a little bit extra to the card as well. And then if you do want to add the kennel, like I said before, head over to my Mixed Up Craft YouTube channel and you'll find the full tutorial showing you how to add the kennel. So I hope this has given you lots of inspiration for those of you that have picked up this 
set. I can't wait to see your versions. I can't wait to see what you do with the mechanisms without using this stamp set, but I am totally in love with the stamps. I just think they are adorable. So I hope you've liked the video today. Thank you for watching as always, and I'll be back again soon. Bye.